Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to update you on an update that's coming to Windows 10 today, which is going to be bringing support for things like unlocked frame rates, NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, as well as AMD FreeSync. So if you remember, back when Gears of War Ultimate Edition launched earlier this year, it was met with a lot of criticism as it launched exclusively on the Windows 10 platform, being that it is published by Microsoft and they wanted to keep it locked down on their own platform, but unfortunately it wasn't getting the best performance there and a lot of people were pointing to the UWP as the reason for that with good reason. It wasn't supporting a true full screen mode and the reasoning behind that is so that you can go quickly between your game and your desktop if you want to get back to the Xbox dashboard within Windows to be able to do things with friends or whatever and interact with your with your desktop, which in theory it technically works. It does give you a much faster way of going between those things, but at the cost of giving us a true full screen mode, not having multi GPU support and not supporting things like FreeSync, G-Sync and unlocked frame rates. But hope, thankfully now, at least part of that is coming to an end. We're not getting a true full screen mode just yet. And you know, chances are we may never actually see that based on, you know, what Microsoft wants to be doing with the platform because they believe that it's uh, a lot clunkier going out of the games and it, you know, causes the screen to kind of flicker and it takes a few seconds, which is totally true. That is true. But personally, it's not something I would, you know, want to get rid of so much that, you know, I that I would be willing to sacrifice multi-GPU support. That would just be absolutely bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. On the topic of an exclusive full screen mode in DirectX 12, Microsoft had this to say. Full screen exclusive mode was created back in the original release of Direct Draw to provide games with enhanced performance when using the entire screen. The downside of full screen exclusive mode is that it makes the experience for gamers who wish to do other things on their systems, such as alt tab to another application or run the Windows game DVR, more clunky with excessive flicker and transition time. So you got it right there from them. That's why they don't want to have the exclusive full screen mode. So. You know, do you think we'll ever get a full screen mode? I'd be curious to see what you guys uh, think about that down in the comments below. And since I have given, uh, you know, Windows 10 a lot of flack and I still don't have it on my main system because I don't like a lot of the changes to the UI and a lot of the privacy stuff in Windows 10, even though you can, you know, turn it, turn that kind of stuff off. I just still, I don't like it. And I'm perfectly happy using Windows 8 on my main PC for the time being until I come across, you know, a DirectX 12 title that I really, really do want to play. I mean, I want to play Gears of War Ultimate Edition, but I still can't even play Play that on my other PC that I do have it installed on because I still can't connect to anybody online even though that they said they've actually fixed the net the, not the net code the the net the network connection issues um, and having restricted net I still can't connect to people I try to connect to my friends in private lobbies for co-op and we still can't play together so I have still yet to really put any time into the Gears, Gears of War Ultimate Edition because of those reasons. And, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and install, uh, you know, an entire new operating system on my main work PC, you know, if you aren't going to at least support multi-GPU, which is something that's very important to me, uh, you know, as not only just as a content creator, but just, but as a gamer as well. But we are getting support for unlocked frame rates and FreeSync and G-Sync, which is a step in the right direction. That's definitely better than not having those technologies supported. And I know NVIDIA is probably letting out a huge sigh of relief right now, being that they've got their new 1080 and 1070 come out and they've put in a lot of money into the R&D of G-Sync technology. So the fact that those are being supported now is very good for both sides, Team Red as well as Team Green, As some, and as someone that has three G-Sync monitors sitting in front of me, I'm exceedingly happy that that is now at least a possibility. And I just hope that we get even more optimization down the road and hopefully multi-GPU support too uh, on you know DirectX 12 and Vulkan titles. And you know, right now that's why you know I'm kind of hoping to see a lot more from Vulkan after seeing how well it performed on the 1080 uh, at the NVIDIA press conference. I'm, I'm hoping that Vulkan comes along and doesn't have anywhere near the number of restrictions that we're seeing on the, the Windows platform at least with DirectX 12 games. And also when we do get more DirectX 12 games that aren't Windows exclusives, you know, how are those going to handle multi-GPU uh, and, you know, these technologies? That's a lot of questions that still remain to be answered, but like I said, this is a step in the right direction, and please give me your feedback down in the comments below. Hopefully, we can have a good discussion about this, and you can let me know uh, where you stand now on the Windows platform uh, with you know, that we do have these updates. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Links to this story is going to be down in the description below for the source, and I'll catch you next time.